Hello everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. Listen guys, uh, I'm so happy to have a beautiful community and thank you guys for your continuous support. So if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and just it's just a way of supporting me and just letting me know that you love my reaction videos and you love uh, my content as well. So thank you so much. And so today we're going to do, um, you know, a video, uh, you know, where it's about Wardemeyer finally breaks silence. And so he responds to I am Mawa and Dimwango. Uh, and so, of course, I think Wardemeyer says I don't envy you, you know. So there's a lot of drama that has been going on between the three. And so I just hope that, you know, we'll find some answers and maybe know what exactly uh, is going down. And, you know, and just stop the drama and the competition on the YouTube space is so big that everybody can fit in. So let's see what what am I has to say about uh, the whole video. So this is from Ni Yemo. So I'm sorry if I, I didn't say that right. And so nice to meet you, sir. Oh my days, my people. Yeah, I understand. Welcome back to another video. African gents. African what? Gents. I'm not Nigerian. African. This... Nigerians are African gents, man. No, no, when they're going to come to YouTube. They said, they said you're African gents. Oh, my. oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I see, I see. Yeah, that's right. I feel Wardemeyer is the father of YouTubers because he's really changed the, the YouTube game in Africa. And everybody now is just looking up to him in a way. So, I understand. Angel is the African gents. I'm just trying to... You see, Mackenzie, they have their own niche. Yeah. Okay, so I think we don't have to bring them into our space. Oh, okay, so this is like African travel vlogs? Yes. Okay. They're big, man. <laughs> when people talk about you, they trend. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. When people talk about Wardemeyer, it trends, you know. Uh, and I think that one of my uh, videos... Um, with the highest views is about Wardemeyer and I feel like most people anytime you have Wardemeyer in your titles or a picture of him somehow it trends so um, you know um, I mean it's it should be an honor I feel it's humbling you know <laughs> they, don't, they don't know the struggle involved right. but then, uh, all of them are enjoying yeah. you know yeah. I mean it's okay yeah, enjoy, yeah. enjoy. Yeah, doing well. Yeah, doing thank well. you so much man I'm trying and it's good to see you again bro Charlie Longest it's time, man. Ages. This, hey, cool. I look up to him. This guy. <laughs> uh, uh, I look up to him. How many channels do you have now? Oh, my, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be like you, man. You know, like, he has um, me and AJ. A big shout out to AJ. AJ, I've missed you so much. I don't know why you allow your husband. Yeah, that's how I got to know about, uh, you know, um, about him. Because um, through the channel he has with his wife, you know, the couple's channel. And so then I realized that he has this one that is more entertainment, um, you know, uh, interviews and stuff like that. So yeah, it's um, it's a it's a good um, it's a good thing. It's good to what do you say to diversify. It's very important. Fun to come to my room alone, but anyway, it's all good. <laughs> and this new channel, yeah. I mean, congrats on that yeah, one. I've seen the work you're doing. Do you remember you called me and you were like, Charlie? Just keep doing the interviews. They are cool. I was like, Charlie, I'm going to stop. I want to do different things. Charlie, so thanks. Thanks, we, we, thanks we for We don't really have something me. like this in the African YouTube space. Mm -hmm. I mean, getting the chance to talk to other content creators on the continent. It's an amazing one, man. See, I will always support things like this, man. Big up. Thank All you. right, so let's go straight. <laughs> yeah, and that's very nice to have friends who motivate you. Uh, friends who show you have positive criticism, I would say. And I believe that if Wodemeyer thought that what he was doing is not um, is not right, then he, he, he would have said it, you know, because he's a very straightforward person. He doesn't beat around the bush one minute. So, yeah, so I feel it's good to to check your uh, your friends because they actually say who you are and the person you are. So just uh, make sure your, you know, your network is valuable people, people who push you to be, be a better person and... Yeah, I'm glad you listened to Wodemeyer because you're doing a great job. Into the thing. Yeah. This question, I know people want to ask. So, guys, I'm here. I'm going to ask, okay? Mm -hmm. Are you going to start a couple channel with Trudy? <laughs> <laughs> my thoughts, okay? My two cents. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because I feel like couple channels, uh, unfortunately, most people are just doing pranks. Uh, you know, just pranks. And I feel that 
what am I? It's not his thing. And I don't think uh, Trudy is as well. I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like if they were to open a couple's channel, it would be more like a traveling as a couple, which they already do, and they still travel together. And maybe, I don't know. I, they're very private, so I don't think they would put their lives out there, you know, you know, just the people they are, you know, the person. I don't think so, no. A couple channel, I'm thinking about it, you know, oh. but I think uh, expect um, a couple channel on our wedding day. Maybe. Uh, After wedding day, that would be the best one. Uh, so, but, you know, right now, I don't know what will happen. Mm. Yeah, so I don't want to... No, 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 what do you mean by I don't know what will happen? Yo, I mean, anything can happen. Yeah, I shit happens. It really does. It really does, you know. But I feel when you're in a relationship and you're sure about it, then you shouldn't doubt uh, about about it in the future but you never know a life happens things happen and yeah so right now you're just taking it slow okay i'm here for my sister no no, yeah, no 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 i mean we, we're here for each other you know okay. but i don't want to give people that chance to get to know who i am mm. you know, because i feel like you see i think it's more of that because i think they, they they're in love there is no doubt about it there is no doubt about it but I feel that they're too private, especially Wodemeyer. He said it in a few videos that he's very, he's a different person on camera and out of camera. So I feel that he wouldn't be so comfortable showing what he's eating. Did he wake up? Um, you know, did he have a good night? What's on his plate? That's not his vibe. He just wants to, to be, to just give an impact, a positive impact. And he doesn't want people to know who he really is because I feel he's a different guy. Um, that's the vibe I get. I think it's completely different and very shy and very reserved outside, you know, the camera. I don't know. Behind the camera, he's completely different. Like all the time, when you do couple channels and all of that, people know what you're doing every day, waking right. up, sleeping. Even the food you eat, they know your favorite food. No, right. I don't want people to get to know me too much. Because right. but, but, anytime we treat okay. people get to know what I'm doing. Uh, but people mm. already even know you are. Like, they, ah, no, they don't no, no, like no. food. They know you can't dance. <laughs> right. <laughs> that is the key to a man's heart. That's food. <laughs> but he doesn't like Trudy's way of making chicken. So he makes the chicken himself, right? <laughs> With Pepe, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm really looking forward to these videos, the ones he did in Namibia. I think he's currently probably concentrating on his, you know, school because I think Wodema is back to school, if I'm not wrong. Um, and also the editing part because I'm sure these videos will be so good in Namibia. <laughs> I, I let them know what they have to know. Okay. Yeah, but whenever Trudy is around me, I feel like she exposed me more. You know, and right. I don't want to expose myself right now. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. It's, it's a beautiful... Yeah, yeah, you can tell Trudy wants to show her man. You know, he's like, he's my guy, you know. Everybody wants to be around what am I, but he's mine, you know. So I understand uh, where she's coming from. But yeah, so I don't think what am I would be for a couple's channel. I don't think you guys are doing that. People love it. People love yeah. it when we're together. Right. Yeah. I want to know, how do you plan your videos? Do you script? Mm. Do you have to... Um, frame the whole thing yeah i don't think script in the sense do you like say i have to i have to say i have to ask this question because when i the the, the when i started when i discovered african youtubers the first person i watched was wodemaya and i'm i'm not talking about years ago it was like um i started my youtube channel on may 10th right and a month prior to that i discovered wodemaya so that must have been in um, in mm, April, you know, March, April, around there, and I, I felt, I felt like he was just spontaneous. He didn't, it wasn't really planned out because he would go from tell me about, tell me about um your business, and then like oh, at the end of the of the videos, like oh, we didn't talk about the name of your farm or what's your name you know he, nothing is planned out and i feel that's why the that's where the beauty of his channel comes from because he's authentic an authentic guy who just goes for it so i don't think he scripts and decides ahead what he's going to say and the questions he's going to ask mm -mm, i don't think so some people draw you know some people draw the 
Okay. Oh. Like how they are going to sit, how they are going to shoot this. No. L- literally, sometimes I don't even know what I'll be doing. Mm. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, mm. especially when I'm filming interviews. I don't know the questions I'm going to mm. ask. I always go with the flow. Right. And everything that I do is basically, is, it comes at, as inspiration. So I'll just be there, the inspiration will come and I'll start doing my thing. Wow. At the end of the day, I put all the footages together, especially when I went to South Sudan. I was exhausted. I didn't know what I was doing. I gave the video to Steven to edit. He didn't know how to edit. Mm-hmm. So I had to come and sit down, put this here, voiceover, dot here, dot here. Right. People wow. enjoy the video. So. Right. And you can feel that raw, the, the rawness. I don't know if that's how you say it, the vibe, you know, the authentic vibe in his videos. And I guess that's where the success comes from. Basically, my content are just with the flow. That's why mm-hmm. sometimes I tell people that I can say something in the video. People can get offended. Me, myself, I didn't know that this is what I'm going to say. I just go with the flow. I don't even know titles of my videos. <laughs> I was watching a video with Ty this morning, and these guys were like, you have to know your title. Write it down before. And I'm like, I'll go there. I don't even know what I'm doing. How come will I be able to know the title of my video? So basically, bro, I'm... I, I think the title thing goes with the tech people and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, you have to write it exactly. down. But for you, I don't think you can write it I feel it like this is... Um, white YouTubers, when they are talking, they all think that we live in the same space. Yes. We live in Africa, you know. Yes. Africa is a place that things like this don't exist. Yes. You know, we, we're now bringing all these things back again. To be honest, like, when I came to Africa, there was nothing like traveling, Africans traveling within Africa. Africans will always travel, like, you live in Europe, you come to Ghana, you mm-hmm. share your time in Ghana, and then you go back. But now, I'm seeing a lot of Africans mm-hmm. traveling within Africa. It's something mm-hmm. new. You know what I mean? So, we can't compare ourselves with them. Mm. So, sometimes, when you're trying to learn about how to grow a channel from them, you might be learning something different. Because right. it doesn't apply here. Right. Very, very, very true. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I started this channel, you remember, like, I just don't know what to do. I was just doing this for fun. Mm. I started teaching stuff. You know, I'm good when it comes to the computer yeah, side of exactly. it. Exactly. People are not watching, though. <laughs> the rather than watch <laughs> Peter McKinnon. <laughs> <laughs> Big media, yeah, but I think with this I'll start again. Yeah, I yeah. think I have to keep pushing. I have to make them understand whatever we say here works. Whatever they tell you there doesn't work here. Mm-hmm. It will work when we get more Africans in the YouTube space. Mm-hmm. Because and that's why I don't understand the quarrels around people. You know the jealousy, this and that. Because the the, the African YouTube space is so new, and there is room for everybody for everybody literally so it's just it's just starting and so i feel that you know people should just you know go for it and just do your thing try different things keep pushing keep pushing and eventually you will make it and there is no point of you know uh, fighting over the audience and stuff like that it doesn't really make sense and i think it's it's a pity right now you know i don't know how to say this those days it was just makeup vlogs, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there was nothing like, oh, travel to show us real estate. Right. Like Tayo came all the way from Nigeria just to come and show us real estate in Ghana. Those days it doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. I saw, I saw, I saw that video and I was like, wow. It doesn't yeah. exist. So right. it's something that is coming up right now. So I believe that more people are gonna watch you when we have more Africans taking YouTube series. Mm-hmm. People think it's just a joke. It's just, yeah. it's just having fun or something like yeah. that. It's a whole mm-hmm. business platform. And I also think we have more viewers than creators when it comes to oh, Africa. Right. And the Thank you. That's true. That's very true. Thank more you. viewers than creators. So Thank you. They're always looking for something to watch. Yeah, and more of the viewers are even in the diaspora. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There are now people in Africa that are getting to understand mm-hmm. what YouTube is all about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, what am I? I beg. They said you are a rich man. Me, I heard it. They said you are a billionaire. Hey, I'm not even worth a thousand, man. Are you sure? I'm so broke, man. Hey, I saw someone doing a video about you uh, checking your income. Mm-hmm. Hey, from wow. this thing, this website. Uh, social, social, social blade. blade. I've seen all those videos. Yeah. So okay. So I saw something like ten thousand, twelve thousand dollars. Wow. Month. Is it true? Ten thousand, twelve thousand? No, I would say triple that or five times. No, ten thousand dollars at Wardemeyer's level. The number of views is God. No, 
and I would say uh, triple the 10 or even times five, if not towards times 10 a month. So no, I think more. Is it true? That's what they say. I'm asking you. Know, <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, that, that's a lie. Because if you listen, I don't. I, 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 that, that's what they normally say. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they are downgrading me. Ooh, you see? Yeah, hundred percent. I think so. They're downgrading you. Good answer. Wow. So you make way more than that. that. I can't say that. But I, when I see people saying that he makes the and even people. Nobody say, oh, you're doing this because of five um, five dollars. You're getting all these views for five dollars. You're yeah, yeah. doing all these things for five dollars. Yeah, yeah, but crazy. if somebody thinks I make ten thousand dollars, the person is downgrading me. Yeah. Well, I believe so because <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just the super chat alone. Sometimes, sometimes see, whenever you go live, uh -huh. I'm there. Uh -huh. I'm just like this. Calculating it. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, it's impressive. I remember I once assisted one of his lives. And somebody was somebody sold uh, sent him one hundred dollars. I think he received like one hundred dollars from ten people or five people, and then it was ten here, five here, and I'm like, wow. And the guy didn't ask any because you have YouTubers today who are going live and asking people for money. I think that is so indecent. I would rather you know people just give it to you because they want to give it to you, and it's. What am I as case? So I'm like, wow. I mean, every time he goes live, minimum $500, you know, in his pocket. Crazy. And I, that's one of the reasons why I hate going live. Right. I, I love going live. I love talking with the people, but the love is massive, you know. So when I get there, because, you know, I have to shut down my PayPal, mm -hmm. you know, because people are like, keep I sending. Want sending you money, sending you money, sending you money <laughs> to support you because. That's insane. This information worth a lot of money, but you're giving it to us for free. So mm -hmm. there are people who said, I want to send you money, I want to do this and that. But I just feel like, you know, it's too much, you know. So mm -hmm. when I go live like that, people can't stop. It's, it's but they, they shouldn't stop because it, it's it also helps yeah, me. Yeah, because yeah. Right. I need to also yeah. I, I, honestly, take off my side. I do that. Next time I'll send you, after the video, I'll send you the total. <laughs> 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 but it, it, it takes all the money. Yeah, so. now they take. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when it's from US. Yeah. That nonsense. Now, <laughs> Anyway, I like what you are doing. Thank you so much. I really like what, and even what you've started. Mm. You know our story, mm. when our baby passed, yeah. we decided to pay hospital bills for mothers. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing it. We keep paying for mothers. Mothers oh, who can't yeah. pay. You know they keep their children in the hospital if you can't pay the bill. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, they lost their baby, right? Mm. I, saw, I, saw, I saw your video. Yeah, so we keep paying. <laughs> So when I saw your video, the ten thousand dollars video, the yeah, school and the mom, yeah, mm. I was like, wow. You know, um, this is something that. Yeah, I guys, and if you haven't watched, uh, I've reacted to those two videos as well. Please go back and watch them, and they're fantastic videos. Uh, what am I creating an impact? And that's what YouTube is all about. Honestly, and that's what I love about this man because he gives back to the community. I think the more you give, the more you receive. And that's how you get to touch people. That's why people love him so much because he's not doing YouTube for his own selfish needs. He's doing it for the people. And the two stories are fantastic. So if you haven't watched them, go back right after this one and watch them. I've always wanted to do um, using my platform to make an impact. Mm -hmm. Like I normally say I'm not here for, to be famous. I'm just doing what I love. Mm -hmm. Like the platform that I've built, I think hey, when it comes to Ghana, I'm there. I mean, the biggest YouTube channel in Ghana, right. no most doubt. subscribed in the country, no doubt. but it doesn't do anything to me. Basically, I wanted to have the audience mm -hmm. and then convert this audience into something meaningful, right. I mean, something impactful. What are they doing? If they're willing to support Odamaya, then they should be able to support mm -hmm. people on the street or things that I bring on board. So this is just the beginning because in future, we'll build the whole block. Right. We'll build like hospitals, schools, and you know... You can only do this when you are financially stable. So I'm, I don't want to, I'm not in a rush. Everything that I do, I do it patiently. That's why I have a sister called Patience. Yeah? <laughs> so I, I do everything patiently. So what I'm doing right now is just step by step. When I become financially stable, because I'm, I'm starting my own real estate company. I have oh, like, back and uh, me. yeah, I want to <laughs> yeah. Like as soon as all these things are done, I know that I'm financially 
stable, yes. then we go for the right thing, man. You know what? Touch other lives. So mm-hmm. this is what I'm using my platform for. Yeah, he's got a plan. He's got a plan. He's got a vision. He knows where he's going. And it's a step at a time. He's not rushing to do things. Everything is studied. He's surrounding himself with people who are going to help him and who are helping him. You know, because I heard from another YouTube video where what am I explained um, that initially he just wanted to buy a big mansion, a big mansion. Then one of the people he went to see, he was a, um, a real estate investor, told him, listen, you're never home. You're never in the country. You're always traveling. What what in the hell do you need a mansion for? And then he advised him uh, to, yeah, to start real estate. And I think it's the best decision ever. You know, once you become financially stable, the cash flows, all right, then you can start investing in other things. So this man has got a plan and that's how it should be done. That's how, exa- do not burn the steps. Just do it. A step at a time and everything will just fall into place as you go and so it's fantastic and then giving back to the community the schools the hospitals ah oh, my goodness i love it and that is the end result god, god of bless you yeah god bless, god bless you really yeah god bless you too man you mm. guys you guys are doing an amazing end right. i'm so proud of you guys when i saw your Sorry. first two videos man mm. i mean that is what an influencer needs to do right but in ghana where we're from they don't celebrate people like that Ah. <laughs> we'll get there <laughs> very soon. <laughs> we'll get there. Right. How do you feel? Up- and not in Ghana alone. Um, when you look at uh, comedians, um, um, uh, what do you call them? Uh, singers, artists. The the local government doesn't promote them. In Africa, in general, they do not. You know, and and they're ambassadors of the country, and these are people who can bring people to the country, who can who create impacts and change people's lives and yet the tourism ministers do not really um you know do not i feel that they don't not that they don't care but to them it's not i don't know i don't understand because when you look at uh, european countries or in the west uh there's the artists be it comedians the singers or the content creators the governments push them you know, to be brand ambassadors, to, to to show the country and stuff like that. They support them, which is not the case in Africa. It's a pity. About people dragging your name, using your name for clouds. Right. Mm. Oof. So this is what we're waiting for? Okay, let's get into it. You know, say all sorts of things. I don't want to mention names, but they No, don't. you can mention names. No, 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 okay. No, no, no. Ah, we can give them free publicity. It's no, all right. No, no. You know, I, I, um, I, feel, I have a feeling we are going to have some tea. I think this is the first official interview what Amaya is uh, doing concerning, um, you know, uh, Dean Mwango and I am Marwa uh, incident. I don't it, mention it's him. just sad. It's just sad that people drag your name of something that you know nothing about. Right. You know, whatever that was happening on the internet, I was even in the forest, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the forest. With no internet. You know what I'm laughing. Uh, why? Oh, the, when that thing was happening, instead of you responding, ah. you went into the bush to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's every day, and I'm like, what? What is going on? What have mm. I done? Like, I know. Listen, I, I watch all these people. Mm. I, I watch everybody. Okay. See, a big shout out to Marwa, Dimwango. I, I know you don't want to mention names, but a big shout out to them. Mm. Like I watch them. Listen. I'm going to tell them something that they don't even know. I didn't want to respond this, but I think I should use your platform to Thank respond. You. Thank right? you. That's the title, right? See, if you type, <laughs> if you type what am I, all right, uh-huh. their videos will pop up. Wow. Anyone who watches YouTube, go to YouTube, go to the search space, type what am I, their videos will pop up. Why are their videos popping up? Their videos are popping up because they have my names in their, Thanks. in their YouTube videos that it oh. has nothing to do with me. In their tags. Listen. Go see, go to. I watch Marwa all the time. I, I'm a big fan of the guy, so sometimes it's so sad to see him like hating on me for nothing, calling me fake, and all of that. See, I don't want to respond. See, his last video, I was watching his last video when he, he visited the Maasai Mara. Mm-hmm. I, listen, I watched the guy, I don't envy, he's more like a brother to me. See, how can you do a video in Maasai Mara and your titles and your tags? Are from my video from South Sudan. Oh, 
Check, check it out. Slow, so, slow, so who slow, is envying who? Slow, who is jealous of who? Who hates who? See, he's saying he's building a house. I watch every step. I just don't comment because I just feel like, you know, enough is enough. Everybody should stay in their lane, mm -hmm. but I will still support you from afar. His videos of building his house, his tax, you're building a house. What has that got to do with what am I? Go and check his tax, please. Make sure you... <laughs> All right, so guys, let it sit right on your screen. You, you uh, judge. It's, it's, it's there. So I don't know when you come out in public to make you turn people against me. What? You wish you can be like me. You know, we, we, are, no, we, we are brothers. See, I, 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 I do videos with Ty or Aina. If I should be afraid of anybody, it should be Ty. True, true. I, I cannot, I cannot. Tyre, Tyre is going so fast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyre, and I love his videos. Let me, let, please make sure you watch uh, the one I, I reacted to while he was in Ghana and also the hyena one, you know, that I just uploaded. So make sure you watch them as well because, my goodness, Tyre is going fast and he's genuine. I love his vibe. He's a cool guy. He's a chill guy. So, yeah, he's doing great. And there is no point of jealousy. Let me tell you. You know, when you're brothers, when you're working together, you know, you build each other, you hold each other, you know, and there is no point of uh, being in competition and hating on each other. It doesn't make sense. It, it's not, it's counterproductive. So that's not how things should be done. And, but anyways, um, it's, it is what it is. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it, but I think it's a pity because people look up to you guys. You know, you you know, and to build other YouTubers, you need to be together as a YouTube family because it's a very small family. But uh, you know, when when the when we are together, then we can only build each other up. So see, uh, see this guy. When I met this Tayo Aida guy, Tayo was around. Why was it sixteen k? Sixteen k. No, Tayo is around two hundred. I should be scared of Tayo, not not Marua. <laughs> This is a situation that me and Tayo are always together. African traveler, we're together. Mm. Yeah, those three are brothers. It's crazy that the bond between African traveler, Tayo, and Wodemaya, uh, the, they have a very strong bond. And yeah, that's how it should be. You know, you when you come together, then you can build each other. Everybody. So he has to fix himself and then come again because... The African YouTube space is a whole different level. Right. It's not about envying, jealous. See, funny. I've built so many channels, you know? So when I see all these things, I'm like, what have I done to this guy? And then it's so sad that he brought the sister into it. That's my problem. You know, oh, because someone... I watched the sister's video. To be honest, the video that the sister was doing, it was just the brother behind him. It, it didn't come from the sister. See, I, I watched her and... It's so funny that the analysis that they were giving that she came to Ghana to and I haven't, I haven't seen that video that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, see, we're in, the, we're in um, um, the Himba village, no Wi-Fi, no internet. For two days we have we spent a night there. From there we travel to the northern, like way north. It's, they share a border with Angola, mm -hmm. Angola and Namibia. No internet. So literally, I was off from the internet. Even my girlfriend was mad at me because I was not talking to her. And then I came out, and then everybody's like, Bro, I won't, I won't lie, man. Let me tell you, that negativity was uh, publicity, you know, for you. It was free publicity, you know. So all in all, you gained from the drama, which is unfortunate because... As your friends, as your YouTube friends, I would say then it, 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 I think it's painful when you know that you, you, there's nothing wrong that you've done, that you, you didn't target anybody in particular, if it's the case. But yeah, all in all, I mean, we gain also from the hate and also from the negative publicity because people are interested in a way. So you, I think, what am I really gained? people from that for the whole drama and he probably lost people as well subscribers but yeah it's uh, it's a game it's unfortunate but i feel like um it's the game and, um some things i don't talk but mm -hmm. sometimes it's it's sad you know? right. um like literally they turned a lot of people against me true that day true I, I was i was there and people were insulting me i'm gonna kill you and i'm like mm. what 
I don't know what they are talking about. Right. And I don't even know how to explain myself out there. That's why I decided that, you know what? It's not worth it. It's not right. worth it, like, come on. And that's why you need to be very careful when it comes to social media. Woo, wow. That's the key queen in me that just came out. <laughs> social media. <laughs> so you need to be very careful about social media. All right? Because today you're the best. Tomorrow they hate you. You know? That's the game. And I feel when you put yourself out there in the public space, and this is something that we all should be prepared for because it can happen to each and every one of us. But when it's unjustified, I think it's really, um, it's terrible because you realize that you're human by the end of the day. And then when you receive all the hate, death threats, stuff like that, you're like, whoa, this is on a whole other level. And I feel it's, it's, it's unfortunate. And um, I mean, it's never that serious. It's just social media. It's just YouTube. So, yeah. Not and say anything, but see, they have see if you are making a video addressing a point with a clear intention, mm -hmm. you will never put 10 adverts. <laughs> Timongo's video had 10 good adverts just to make money from my name, but they're insulting me. See, who, who is jealous of who? Who is it's getting personal? Woof, okay, there's some tea. Good job, Mio. Good job. And you're so fool. They've been dragging my name for so long. And I don't know what I've done. See, I, 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 me, there's something my father told me here. My father said, and this is how I walk, I'm just going to tell you. My father told me, the last day I spent with my dad, he told me that there is nothing in this world. Absolutely nothing in this world. But make sure that whatever life you live on this earth, don't die without having Christ. Mm -hmm. That's my father's last statement with me. I've met so many people who tell me that God has no existence. There is no this and that. But my father's statement in my head keeps me moving every day. Nothing impresses me. I meet CEOs who worth millions of dollars. Mm. I, I click with everyone. I, I can click with people, farmers. Right. So if you have a problem with me, you have to check yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah, true. I, I also I also think like when I saw this video, yeah, I felt like, oh, okay, I know this game, like. It, it will push your channel, hair channel a bit. So I was like, okay, cool. Until I saw the video she did, I had to run away from Ghana for my life. I really got pissed because D was with us when hey, she came. I, I, I caught the yeah, that's what we call clickbait, you know? Uh, and people love drama. People love everything that has to do uh, with drama. And I feel like clickbait, so many people use clickbait, and I feel it's a pity um, because you just want people to click on your video and when you put like a scandalous title and which has nothing to do with your video and in this case if I understand then that video I haven't watched it so I don't know but I feel like she just wanted to attract people to her channel and it worked I guess I think it worked I need to check um, that video but I feel if you were there if there were witnesses then if she was not in danger then it's uh, <laughs> It's a pity, but yeah, it's a game. I feel uh, it's a game. The La Chanelli to take care of her. Okay. That really, that, that thing really oh, pissed me off. So, D, please, uh, just calm down. Like, no one hates you. Or the man really yeah, loves I, I, you. See, La Chanelli did not tell you. You're in Ghana. You're in my country. You spent time with Nappy. Nappy is my best friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jeez, man. Like, it's... It's sad, bro. Like, anyway, it's, it's all up. It's all up. It, it happens. It, I just want to say that I, I, I love you guys, man. And we should all learn to collaborate. Right. Because I have a t-shirt called Don't Hate, Collaborate. Mm -hmm. We should all collaborate with each other. Right. Learn from each other. You might think you're making money now. Mm -hmm. You're doing everything to make money right now. But don't forget that it's won't last long. Mm -hmm. You're not here for the fame. We are here for impact. Right. So if you're doing all you can to make money a short time, please stop. Mm -hmm. And you're making money, but you're tarnishing somebody's image, somebody's brand. I could have taken these guys to court because whatever they were saying I had no proof. Right. It was just funny. Like I sat down and I'm like, what have I done tomorrow? Man? Mm -hmm. Today he's still using my names in his tags, but he still say I hate you for what? <laughs> See, my video from South Sudan had 2.2, 2.3 million views. He copied every single tag. 
They put it in a video that he's doing in Kenya, which is Masai Mara. What has Masai Mara got to do with uh, South That's Sudan, right. Mandari tribe? And you, you're telling everybody that I hate you. I'm so jealous of you, bro. Please. Mm -hmm. Please. I think this is Please. going to end the, Please, you end the, the war the and yeah. whatever between I, I, Maya and Marwa. I mean, I, I, thank you for giving me the opportunity to express myself. <laughs> I mean, I, I do want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about this on my platform because it was not worth it. Yeah. But yeah, you have to. I, I still see it because I watch them. Yeah, but it, that's important. It's, a, it's important to address a situation, especially uh, when, it can, when it's this big because... Um, people who support you don't really know your side of the story. And, you know, when a story is one-sided, it's not fair. So I feel that it was the right moment to speak your heart and say that, you know, especially people didn't know you were in the bush somewhere lost, um, that you did, you had no idea what was going on and so on. So I feel it's good to, to express yourself and just to give your side of the story. And then people from there can judge from both sides. So... Yeah, and people should just be, it's never that serious, my goodness. Just know people are making money out of the, 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 the hate, uh, out of the dramas. And so don't fall into that trap um, and just enjoy positive content and just positive energy. And that's the most important thing. Uh, you know, from where, I mean, from my side, I feel that's the most important thing. It's uh, just enjoying the content that we get from. I am Awa that I like so much. Tim Wango's content is good. The brother David, I love it. Look at what Amaya, Trudy, Napi, uh, Teo, African Traveler, Lightbulb. I mean, it's a big family and all of them connect. So it's a pity to have such um, incidents that come and tarnish the, you know, the brand image and also the, the image of African um, YouTubers. But yeah, it's, it's never that serious. I just want to see whatever is happening on the continent. Right. There's people that were even supporting them, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, I still watch them. You, you know what I mean? I, I watch and support. See, no one can bring me down because whatever I'm doing is God's calling. It, it's not me. Right. So if you, if you try and hate on me, you're trying to hate on God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Shatawali. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you're, if you're from Nigeria. What does it mean, Shatawale? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, does so, it mean something like so be it or amen or so be it? Let me know. What does it Shatawale mean? Oh, well, let's come back. Come back. Let's come back. A bit. Let's come back home. Yes, this is something I always ask them before I interview. Yeah. Tell me your three favorite YouTubers. Let me not limit it to Ghana. No, nah, nah, let me do Ghana. Okay. Your three favorite YouTubers in Ghana. In Ghana, personally, so I would say Wodemaya. Which other YouTuber from Ghana do I watch? Nappy. I started watching Nappy as well. So with all this, uh, his drawn images, which are just fantastic, and that's all. And I learned recently about Ch uh, Chanelli that I have to start watching. I want to react to one of her videos as well. She looks to be a very bubbly girl and she's in Kenya right now. So I would say those, my, but I wouldn't say my favorite. I would say my top one is Wodemaya, of course. And then Napi, I love what he's doing. So so I don't know any other Ghanaian uh, YouTubers. In Ghana, in Ghana, just three. Ghana would be tough, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, yes, and I know Jessica Os. She has a fantastic voice. My goodness, that girl. She, I love, she's outspoken. I would say Jessica Ose as well. Um, but um, in Ghana, there are channels that I love watching in Ghana. I think would you show them? Ah, smarty girl. Yeah, just to see what is going on in Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, Maghreb doesn't live in Ghana. Yeah. So I, I think Maghreb, I watch Maghreb just to see what is happening in the country. And um, to see places, normally I watch Stella Chanel um, back again, Charlie. And there's this girl that I, I love watching. I feel like she's doing something different from everybody. It's like Nubuke. Oh, right. No. Yeah, 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 Nubuke. That girl is crazy. I, I feel like she's all over the place. That's, that's a vibe. She's like a bubbly girl. She's very bubbly and... I like her vibe, and I just discovered her. I mean, 
You know the way YouTube just um, suggests videos to you? And I guess it's because when I started walking, uh, watching Shinale, then I... So, okay, yeah. She has a very bubbly, bubbly girl. She's crazy. She looks to be a crazy girl. So, I love her vibe. Yeah, Nubuke. Mm. Nubuke. Nubuke right. is... Wow. Nubuke is you like doing... Nubuke. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I, I shared her videos like some time ago. Nubuke is doing something... Because, you know... We are all showing people destinations, destinations, mm -hmm. destinations. Nubuka is doing more. So I, I, I watched a video where she went, oh, finish her house or something. The, the Airbnb thing. The way she vlogged, how she put almost three days, four days, as if it's happening the same day. That was amazing, man. I, I love that video. I mean, mm -hmm. her bubbly um, lifestyle. Right. She, can, she can edit. Oh, she's good. Yeah. She's good. So if you mention Nubuka, definitely you need to mention my... What's her name? Marintia. Marintia, yeah. But I love Nubuke more than Marintia. Marintia. Sorry, Marintia. <laughs> like, I love your channel, but Nubuke is one of my favorite. And, um, that's God, right? That's, that's it. I mean, you know, you've, you've gone more than three. I'm just watching you. Just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 love, I, I love watching people, man. Like, I watch I everybody. Shout I out to Modine. Um, Yo, Modine. I didn't know about him until I saw a Ethiopian Airline video. That was a yeah, good video. Yeah, 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 yeah. He also did another one about the donation that I did, YouTube CEO, that was a good one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Nappy Bricks, a lot, a lot of guys. I want, I can mention a lot of YouTubers. No, no, it's okay. Right. <laughs> it's okay. I want to wrap up. So, <laughs> so just um, tell me, who do you think has the potential now in Ghana? Like someone you are really watching, you feel okay. like this person has the potential. Hmm. In Africa, not talking necessarily in Ghana. In Africa, I would say Teo has great potential. And this Kenyan YouTuber called Mugai Eve, that girl, she's crazy. She's um, she's fantastic. And I, I love, she's creating an impact in a different way in the sense that she's, um, she's giving, how can I say? She's giving a, a platform uh, to the ghetto, you know? And I feel most YouTubers... Um, I prefer just showing beautiful places, of course, which is perfect. It's okay. But I mean, and the, the people in the ghetto don't have a voice. So she has a niche, which is perfect. And she's doing it very well. So in Africa, I would say Teo and um, Mungai Eve from Kenya. You know, you know, you're a big guy. You are ah, no. a father. So no, I mean, yeah. also, even me, I have the potential. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but who has the potential? Can't think about it. Um, I think if Stella Chanel can rebrand herself, she can make it big. Because mm -hmm. okay. it's all over the place. Yes. If she can rebrand herself, herself. Mm -hmm. she can make it big. Yeah. Okay. Now, I don't know, like, most people I talk to, they keep mentioning Stella Chanel, Stella Chanel. Charlie Star! <laughs> I think you have to listen to Maya. Yeah, I mean, she can rebrand herself yeah. because I, I, I just feel like sometimes you have to rebrand yourself, know what exactly you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not about being famous. It's about making money. Do you understand me? Um, rebranding yourself in a way where the companies will come, the resorts, the hotels will come, and right. then, yeah, they sign the contract and you make your money also, um, give them what they're looking mm. for. Yeah, that's, mm. that's what I, I think she need to work on. All right, so... That's it. That's how I end my interviews. We don't do and we are done. Uh, but hey, thank you so much for watching. Uh, uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe. subscribe. Yes. If you are a YouTuber in Africa, I believe this is the best channel for you to watch. Get to see other content YouTubers, creators. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But you should stop limiting yourself to only Ghana. Go out there and then go interview other I'll content go. creators. Man. From you, I'm going outside. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Reach out to all content creators. Yeah. I'm sorry for those who I never mentioned their name. Vanessa Kambi, um, a champion family. You know, these are different YouTube yeah. videos, eh? Yeah, Vanessa they, are, Kambi, they are there. Miss Drew, they are there. Jasmine Alma. Yeah, so you all should keep up the good work. And uh, definitely, we just have to organize a meetup again when I get time. Yeah, for now, <laughs> I'm sorry. He's <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, wow, that was fantastic. Oh, wow. It was really nice because we. We get to know Wodemeyer a little bit more, and he was—he looked very comfortable 
um, you know, uh, during the interview. And so that's really nice. And thank you so much for asking the right questions in such, you know, a beautiful way and a respectful way. And we got the answers back. So everything I wanted to know. So now that everything is settled, so, you know, let's go back to some positive vibes and make sure you subscribe. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. I hope to react to more of your videos as well, because I feel like you're doing a fantastic work and it's nice that, you know, you're getting to give a voice to African YouTubers. And yeah, this is the best reaction channel, you know, also subscribe to their channel as well, to his channel as well. And yeah, let's help each other grow. And because we're one big family. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye.